by email, and you can always email me, Adam, at thefreedomline.com. Hal Phillips, via email, asks, I was wondering if you have thoughts on whether or not the Electoral College should be replaced by a popular vote. Okay, so I'm going to take this question as an opportunity to explain why minarchism, when you define as government, should do just these things, and anarchism, when you define as government, should do nothing, are both really wrong and stupid. Because when you say, should the Electoral College be replaced by a popular vote, you're saying, if we're going to Im impose violence on somebody, should we do it this way or that way? Which would be more justified? You know, and, and, and of course, it's sort of more decentralized if it's by popular vote. The Electoral College was designed pre-internet when it was actually a, a valuable check on on uh, the the potential corruption of an election right like you could uh elect someone with a popular vote if uh but but if if there was no electoral college that sort of segmented those votes into small pieces then you would have an incentive to steal every vote and, and there would be you know there would be less districts clearly obviously dominated by someone and not someone else and and then you would have the incentive uh, to steal votes everywhere because they would count towards the grand total in the popular vote as opposed to the electoral college system where your only motive the only motivation is to cheat in in swing states or swing districts but um that's that's sort of the mechanics of this the reason anarchism and minarchism when defined those ways are both really dumb and stupid is that they are anti-voluntary when someone says there should be no government, and, 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 I, and I say there should be no involuntary government, there should be no coercive government, and, and maybe you just don't need that qualifying definition, you just say there should be no government. I, I, don't, I, I don't have a problem with, with you making that choice semantically as long as you're advocating for something ethical in accordance with the non-aggression principle. But when you say government isn't allowed, government, you know, you can't have government, anarchy means no government, I believe there should be no government, what you're saying is, that if someone forms a voluntary collective and comes together and calls it government, that you're going to put a gun to their head and say, no, you can't use that. That's our word. And that's, that's dumb and anti-non-aggression principle. Now, when you say, well, I'm a minarchist, government should do just this, this, and this. Well, what if I live in a different area where I, I'm not even anywhere close to you? I have a completely independent government system and I want government to do X, Y, and Z instead of A, B, and C. I want, uh, you know, socialism and, and you want the night watchman state. Well, you want the night watchman state, you can have that. That's great. If people come together voluntarily and have socialism in my community and that's what we get, then you, you are not in a position to object to it. It is wrong and unethical of you to say, I can't have that in that position. So, to get back to your question, Hal, should the electoral college be replaced by a popular vote? That's that's really like asking, you know, if, if you're going to murder someone, should you, you beat them over the head with a baseball bat or should you stab them in the back? It, you know, you're, you're going to start arguing, well, if you hit him over the head with a baseball bat, he's going to go unconscious, like, right away, you know, within a, within a, a split second of him getting cracked and he's not going to feel the second blow where he, where he actually smashes his skull in and kill him and he bleeds to death, you know, through his ears. Uh, but if you stab him, well, he's going he's gonna to feel that pain and he's going to feel himself. And it's like, how about you let the fucker live? How about you just embrace ethics instead? You know, the, the, so this, the, these kinds of questions about tinkering with government systems I really don't care about, and not just because, uh, you know, I consider myself an anarcho-capitalist as a voluntarist who believes in that ideal of a stateless society, but because when we get government down to the community level, you're going to see different systems develop to meet different communities' needs until they're just completely gone entirely or replaced by you know, non-coercive systems and ultimately that's that's where we are all going to be united and, and none of this really matters. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions including DTube and you can find that through Steemit.com as well as my own page there at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. 
Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at thefreedomline.com and we'll share it on my feed.